Stegosaurus is a genus of armored dinosaur. Their fossil bones have been found in rocks dated to the late Jurassic period, Kimmeridgian to early Tithonian ages, between 155 and 150 million years ago. In the western United States and Portugal, several species have been classified in the Upper Morrison Formation of the western U.S. though only three are universally recognized, S. stenips, S. ungulatus and S. sulcatus. The remains of over 80 individual animals of this genus have been found. Stegosaurus would have lived alongside dinosaurs such as Apatosaurus, Diplodocus brachiosaurus, Allosaurus, and Ceratosaurus, the latter two may have been predators of it. These were large, heavily built, herbivorous quadrupeds with rounded backs, short forelimbs, long hind limbs, and tails held high in the air. Due to their distinctive combination of broad, upright plates and tail tipped with spikes, Stegosaurus is one of the most recognizable kinds of dinosaur. The function of this array of plates and spikes has been the subject of much speculation among scientists. Today, it is generally agreed that their spikes were most likely used for defense against predators, while their plates may have been used primarily for display and secondarily for thermoregulatory functions. Stegosaurus had a relatively low brain-to-body mass ratio. It had a short neck and a small head, meaning it most likely ate low-lying bushes and shrubs. One species, Stegosaurus ungulatus, is the largest known of all the Stegosaurians, bigger than related dinosaurs such as Kentrosaurus and Wyangosaurus. Stegosaurus remains were first identified during the Bone Wars by Neil Charles Marsh. The first known skeletons were fragmentary and the bones were scattered. And it would be many years before the true appearance of these animals, including their posture and plate arrangement, became well understood. The name Stegosaurus means roof lizard or covered lizard in reference to its bony plates. Despite its popularity in books and film, mounted skeletons of Stegosaurus did not become a staple of major natural history museums until the mid-20th century, and many museums have had to assemble composite displays from several different specimens due to a lack of complete skeletons. The quadrupedal Stegosaurus is one of the most easily identifiable dinosaur genera. Due to the distinctive double row of kite-shaped plates rising vertically along the rounded back and the two pairs of long spikes extending horizontally near the end of the tail. Although large individuals could grow up to 9 meters feet in length, the various species of Stegosaurus were dwarfed by their contemporaries, the giant sauropods. Some form of armor appears to have been necessary, as Stegosaurus species coexisted with large predatory theropod dinosaurs, such as Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus. Most of the information known about Stegosaurus comes from the remains of mature animals. More recently, though, juvenile remains of Stegosaurus have been found. One subadult specimen discovered in 1994 in Wyoming, is 4.6 meters, 15.1 feet long and 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet high, and is estimated to have weighed 2.4 metric tons, 2.6 short tons, while alive. It is on display in the University of Wyoming Geological Museum. Skull S. Stenop Skullcast Natural History Museum of Utah The long and narrow skull was small in proportion to the body. It had a small antorbital fenestra, the hole between the nose and eye common to most archosaurs, including modern birds, though lost in extant crocodilians. The skull's low position suggests that Stegosaurus may have been a browser of low-growing vegetation. This interpretation is supported by the absence of front teeth and the likely replacement by a horny beak around Phothica. The lower jaw of Stegosaurus had a flat upward extension that would have completely hidden the teeth when viewed from the side and which probably supported a turtle-like beak in life. 
Other researchers have interpreted these ridges as modified versions of similar structures in other ornithischians which might have supported fleshy cheeks, rather than beaks. Stegosaurian teeth were small, triangular, and flat. Where facets show that they did grind their food, ate. The jaws of Stegosaurus had flat downward and upward extensions that would have completely hidden the teeth when viewed from the side. And these probably supported a beak in life. The presence of a beak extended along much of the jaws may have precluded the presence of cheeks in these species. Such an extensive beak was probably unique to Stegosaurus and some other advanced Stegosaurids among Ornithischians, which usually had beaks restricted to the jaw tips. Despite the animal's overall size, the brain case of Stegosaurus was small, being no larger than that of a dog. A well-preserved Stegosaurus brain case allowed Evniel Charles Marsh to obtain in the 1880s, a cast of the brain cavity or endocast of the animal, which gave an indication of the brain size. The endocast showed the brain was indeed very small. The smallest proportionally of all dinosaur endocasts then known. The fact that an animal weighing over 4.5 metric tons, 5 short tons, could have a brain of no more than 80 grams, 2.8 ounces, contributed to the popular old idea that all dinosaurs were unintelligent. An idea now largely rejected. Actual brain anatomy in Stegosaurus is poorly known, but the brain itself was, however, small even for a dinosaur, fitting well with a slow. Herbivorous lifestyle and limited behavioral complexity.